Today I found epic Yu-Gi-Oh cards at Walmart. What's up guys? I just went into Walmart just to see, you know, let's see if we have anything inside. I didn't expect there to actually be anything. It's a different Walmart than I usually go to. It was insane. There was so much good stuff in there. I didn't even buy half of what was in there and we got some really awesome stuff like Mystery Power Box. So let's get back to the studio and open some of this up. What's up guys? We're back with another epic video. Today I went by Walmart and as you guys saw, I th threw a couple clips in and found some actually awesome stuff, which was shocking. For the last couple years, it's been really hard to find stuff because everybody's been buying all this stuff because everything's hyped up, but I guess the market's calmed down and there's actually a ton at this specific Walmart that I went to. But before we get into it, I do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards the duelist kingdom cards and then the magician of black chaos as well as the ocean dragon lord all you have to do is like this video be subscribed let me know how it is on your walmarts around you guys have you guys noticed an uptick of product at your walmarts or are they still barren also i wanted to mention that i am looking for a full-time editor so i'm gonna have a google link down below so you guys can like fill it out i would love if it's one of you guys because i want a viewer somebody that knows exactly how i like my videos, etc so you guys have a good feel of what kind of editing i actually want for my videos if you guys are interested in editing make sure you check out the link down below it will really help me out for sure first off a really cool thing that they actually had was they had three cyber strike structure deck the exciting thing about this is that means i can make basically a cyber dragon or cyber dark dragon deck out of these which i did try to do in the auction series it wasn't so good with one but there's all three there's also an impermanence in here so this is going to be really fun i actually really enjoy putting three structure decks together and just playing around casually with it i've been doing that i did that with the machina structure deck and i actually had a lot of fun then we got a ton of epic blisters. So this is going to be a really fun opening. There was King's Court. There was even Ancient Guardians. I bought one of those. I think Lightning Overdrive had a pack. I mean, there was a lot of stuff. They had a lot of really cool stuff laying around. They had some Brothers of Legend. All right, let's get rid of that. All right. <laughs> Let's go into it. Let's see if can we pull a collector rare out of here? I mean, King's Court, it's been a while since that came out. That's pretty exciting to find. We've got the Wicked Avatar, which is cool because we're leading up to another collector rare set in just a couple of weeks. The Grand Creators, that's going to be fun. We got a Rescue Rabbit. Infinite cards. The Leo Arms, rivalry of Warlords. And the Rose Princess. Now we've got ourselves. We opened a lot of this set, Brothers of Legend, but we did never pull the Leviathan. And, you know, obviously those short prints are going to be really nice. Or even some error packs. You guys remember we opened those error boxes. Let's see if we can do that again. All right. Oh, and by the way, I need to make a quick announcement. Astrotopia. We got the Kaiju Capture Mission, AI Show, D Force Seeker Rare. Very nice. Oh, and here we have Ancient Guardians. Look, guys, Ancient Guardians, okay? I mean, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad, but there are some cool cards that we could get in here. Also, we haven't opened this in a while, which is why I was like, okay, let's grab some Ancient Guardians. I think there was only like two packs, so I was like, let's go ahead and grab them. We got the Dream yet. There was a ton at this Walmart, though. Trade in, very nice. Quit, charge. They had gold and they had tins, but we've already opened so much of that. I didn't, well, I mean, I still have some, so I didn't bother buying more. Okay, we got a Snake Rain. That's cool. Uh, Usartic McBillis. Next we have Burst of Destiny. We're looking for that Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull Destroy Phoenix Enforcer? I think I have, I only have two of them because I sold my friend my third one. So, you know, it'd be nice to have another one. So I, I could use a third one. Let's see if we can get it. We got the Outstanding Dog Mary, Giant Starfall. Obviously, we never got the Stratos. That would be cool. Break the Destiny. Ooh, Ad Libtum of Despia. Very cool. Secret, not secret, super rare. As you guys saw, we did get that mystery power box as well. So we will be opening that in this video. It's it, This feels like 2019 again. Like back in 2019, I could do this kind of video. I could go to Walmart, I could buy packs and we could open them up. And then for a long time, they just wasn't available. Like there wasn't enough packs to actually buy for a video. We got a Cyanite Crossway, we've got a Cyanite Cascade, Magic Key Battle, Sonic Tracker. Fluenderies and the Dreaming Town, Cupid Pitch and Reptilian Recoil. Yeah, my Discord uh, for the members, if you guys want to become a member, click the join button down below. You guys can get access to the Discord. They've been telling me, they're like, guys, I'm telling you, these blisters are amazing. Like, I always pull Starlights, and I was like, I don't know if that's ac completely accurate. I think it's just uh, random. I think it's still the same rates, but we're going to see if they're right. If we pull, like, a Starlight here, I will eat my words. We will see what we can do. I'd be down to be wrong. I I'm totally down. Left-hand Shark, we got the Appliance Conversion, Starlight Road. Noble Knight. And the Stealth Kragen spawn. What are the chances we actually pull the short print out of these? I mean, we only have like a few packs of brothers, so probably not. But we're going to keep trying because that's what we do, guys. That's what we do. We go to Walmart. We buy some packs. This is pretty fun. It's pretty fun that you could actually buy stuff at Walmart again. Well, at least for me. I don't know if you guys are able to or not. I want you guys to let me know down below. We got the wind-up arsenal. Rank up magic. Gadaria. Horse of the Floral Knights. And the Altar guys. Pookery. I know this is actually a pretty good card for Altar Geist. Now we have another burst. Let's go burst of destiny. There was a ton of burst of destiny. Like I left like probably 15 packs of burst there. 
Um, because, you know, obviously you don't want to get everything, just in case somebody comes by and wants to buy some. So I didn't buy Maximum Gold, the tins. I didn't buy all the bursts. I think, did I even buy Synchro Storm? There was some Synchro Storm there. I'm not sure if I bought any of it. Ad Lithum, Libitum of Despia, again, okay. So far, we've not pulled anything out of these. Oh, King Squirt. We do have another King Squirt. Very nice. Yeah, so far, zero pulls. So, uh, you know, that's to be expected from Walmart. But we are hoping for some good luck. We have the Ties of the Brethren. Wicked Avatar. Number C39, Utopia Ray. Ah, oh, classic. Rivalry of the Warlords. Arcana Knight Joker. Arcana Extra Joker. And number 49, Fortune Tune. Okay. We still got several blisters left. And then we have the Mystery Box. Maybe that will at least give us some good luck. So, so far, not so good. We have the Brothers of Legend. What can we pull from the Legendary Brothers? We have Penguin Sword, Numbers Protection, Ouroboros Sage, Red Eyes Fusion. Okay, it's a good pull. We'll take it. And a Wreath Burnt Judgment. Not the best secret rare, but nice Red Eyes Fusion. Also, I want to know you guys' opinion on, uh, speaking of Red, Eye Fu Red Eyes Fusion, do you guys like Dragoon or do you like DPE better? I was talking in the Discord. I personally think DPE is a lot better, at least from my experience. I like that you can actually use it with and not completely end your turn. Because Red Eyes Fusion, you know, you basically you're locked in and just summoning Dragoon. And if they negate it, you're doing nothing. Um, but Dragoon is very powerful when it gets out there. So what do you think? Oh, we got an Impin! Okay, that's not a bad secret rare. We will take that. Flounder is an Impin. Pretty decent card, actually. If it was the Snow Wool, we'd be, we'd be mad. That's the bad one. All right, we finally got to pull all these blisters. All right, two more, I think. And then we have the Mystery Power Box. I don't think we're going to make our money back. I think I spent $150 total or something like that. So it wasn't cheap for sure. Let's see if we can get some more good pulls. We got the Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Beatrice. Karee Reborn. Five Star Twilight and the Grandpa de Meadow. Final pack. Guess what it is? Ancient Guardians. <laughs> Ancient Guardians. If we take Collector Rare, I'm down. I think, I mean, there's some good ones like Skullmeister, etc. in here. So I'm not going to be mad if we pull that. I think Pancratops was in here as well. Ogdoidic Hollow. Viper's Rebirth. Sulfacord Musica. Skullmeister. Rise of the Snake Deity. Light Serpent. And... Sulfacord Elegance. Okay, uh, not the best. Wait, I was wrong. That was not the last pack. There's like five more. <laughs> so, oh, I forgot about the Blazing Vortex. Okay, the Blazing Vortex. Remember, oh yeah, Pot of Prosperity. We did pull that the other day. I'd be down to pull that in a Starlight. Who? Yeah, you know, that'd be okay. I wouldn't be too mad if we got the Starlight Pot of Prosperity. Let's see. We've got the uh, Refrain, the Neroi, War Rocks, Skylar, Degamma. Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. That is not a Starlight. Oh, another King Squirt. Okay, I'm glad I didn't miss these. I was about to be like, wow, it seems like less packs than I bought. Nope, not less packs. We have all the packs. We have the King's Court First Edition. Can we get Lightning Storm Collector Rare? That would be really cool. We got Ties of the Brother. We got the Wicked Eraser. Arcana Knight Joker. Gravekeeper Spy. Number C39 Utopia. Reinforced by the Army. Joker's Wild. Very nice super rare. Oh, Burst of Destiny. On to the next. Can we get something nice out of Burst of Destiny? Whew, let's go. We have the Break break the Destiny. Heritage of the Light. Magic Key Battle. Abyss Keeper. Ice Jade Cradle. Nayami and Destination Code. All right. Okay. Burst. Come on. You gave us one secret. I guess we can't really complain. But can you give us a big time secret like the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer? Here we go. We've got the Rebuild Deer. Sonic Tracker, Outstanding Dog, Mary, Ice Jade, Tenola, Sword, Soul, Sacred Summit. Come on, Beach Trooper Landing. Two more. They're both Burst to Destiny. So will they bless us with an amazing secret rare? I mean, obviously, Starlight is just, that's just almost out of the question to ask for that. It's too rare. It's too awesome. But if it does happen, we will be happy. Giant Starfall, Sushi. We, remember, we had terrible luck with Starlights in the set. We opened three cases. We got one Starlight, so it was rough. Break the Destiny, Heritage of the Light. Supernatural Danger Zone. Okay. And the fact that DPE is not a Starlight is just an absolute sin. I mean, that, that is ridiculous. How is that not a Starlight? That would be such an expensive card right now. I, I don't know what they were thinking. Okay, final pack. Apex Predation. Penguin Cleric. Outstanding Young Mary. Oh! 
I spoke it into existence, the Fluunderies and Snow, the terrible one. So we got both the Fluunderies secrets. That's really weird, and I mentioned it, and in the last pack we got it. That is wild. I mean, we'll take it. It's better than, like, a super, though. We do have a mystery power box, though. Let's just do a quick recap. Five bitch packs, a deck, and a mystery pack. Let's hope that it doesn't have three of whatever that set was called, Fist of the Gadgets or the same starter deck Machina, because I have four of those Machina decks. Please don't have those. Please have something else. Anything, any other deck, I will be happy. It'll probably be the Cyber Strike that I just bought. We'll see if that is the case. Oh, it's an opened deck. Okay, interesting. We're going to start off with, ooh, Maximum Crisis. This is unlimited, so you're not going to get anything like... I guess we can still get the Ash Blossom. I'm not going to complain about that. Ash Blossom, you can get the, uh, whatever that guy's name is, the band guy. Zephra War, what is he called? It's, uh, I can't remember. We'll just pull him. Set rotation. Unending Nightmare. It is a secret rare. Wow, that came up really quick. The fourth, fourth card. Okay, secret rare, unending nightmare. Not very expensive anymore, but this card is not bad at all. All right, mystery box starting off hot. We've got a 2900 vanilla. That's weird. Zodiac, Cataroost, and Mild Turkey. Okay, not bad. Now let's hope that that was not like our legacy pack. Oh, no. Hidden Summoners. Oh, this is actually cool. I was actually wanting to get some of these. No spoilers for the next auction episode, but a mini spoiler. Hidden Summoners was in there. So let's see what we can pull here. All right, so this is a five-card set. I, in here, there's like Miyakishi and stuff like that. Oh, there's the Miyakishi, the, sh the Sukahagi, Prank Kids Rocket Ride. Whoa, Prank Kids are in this? I didn't know that. The Matriarch of Nephthys, Shiranui Spirit Master, and Hajun the Wicked Mayakashi. That is very cool. Three Mayakashi cards. That's actually awesome. Okay, so not a bad mystery power box so far. Let's see about, what about this one? Oh, no. This is, sounds like, it feels like a core set. So maybe this is the, the Legacy Pack. Ooh, Dimension of Chaos. You guys know we love this set. You know we love it. We Okay, I still need the unlimited ghost rare. You guys remember for the binder, if you saw yesterday's video. If you didn't see it, go check it out. It didn't really, you know, blow up or anything. So you might have missed it. Go check it out. We need this unlimited Scarlight. So let's see. Didi, Savant, Kepler. Magic Spectre Storm. The last set with ghost rares before they brought him back with Winged Dragon Raw. Super Soldier Soul. Oh, there it is. The Legendary Fisherman. This is not guaranteed. And Gamma Seal. That's a great uh, Kaiju. That's actually a pretty good pack. The Super Horms, Necro Slime, and Fluffle Wings. You guys remember, these are the two we were always looking for because they had value at the time. Plush Fire, I think, is actually a pretty good one as well. That was actually like a crazy pack, like a lot of good cards in there. I don't know how valuable they are, but it was a good card. So let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fist of the Gadgets. Why? Why do you do this to me, Fist of the Gadgets? Oh, my. Maybe I just need to make a Fire Fist deck. Maybe that's what it's telling me. Talkback, uh, Rastaliger, Power of the Moving Battery. Brother of the Fire Fist Gorilla. These are really dark. You notice this? And then the boot up o order gear force, not ogre. All right. Hopefully that's the only one, right? Only one, right? 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 No, it's not. It's not. Fist of the Gadgets. <laughs> Curse you. Curse you. Okay. We have a Prohibit Snake. Dino Mist. Dino Might Knight the True Draco Fight. Wow. That is a lot. Goliath. Scrap Recycle. Oh, that's a good card. I, I can follow out my version for my Machina deck. There we go. And then the boot up Admiral Destroyer Dynamo. That's actually cool that the Scrap Recycler was in there. Okay, what do we have left? One pack, probably Fist of the Gadgets. It is. All right, can we at least get the Scrap Recycler again? Because I think there's three in that deck. That's only one foil version. We take two. Yellow Gadget's actually cool. Rooster. Defcon Bird. Swap Cleric. Ultimate Fire Formation Sinto. Okay. Okay. And finally, wait, was was our legacy what was our legacy pack? Dimension of Chaos, I guess. We have a deck. What will it be? Let's pull it out like this. Okay. It's upside down. We're good. All right. What could it be? Please. Anything but Machina, because we already have like three of those. Oh, what is this? What is this one? SR04? Dinosaur? Wait. Okay, first of all, we're going to open it because I don't know what this is. And I'm probably going to, you know, want to use it or something. And at this point, it's not worth too much just in this plastic anyway. So let's get this open. All right. What is this? SR04. The Petite Radon. Oh, this is the, the Tyranno deck. This is the one I used and uh, unfortunately lost. But uh, this is a really cool deck. It's got the Tyranno, the Over Raptors in here, Lost World. This is actually a pretty good deck. It's not that old or anything. But it is pretty decent overall. It's got a lot of dinos in it and stuff. I wish I had multiples of these. This would be really cool. The Twin Twisters is in here. Unexpected die terraforming. 
Yeah, this is awesome. Very cool. We get a token as well. Yeah, I don't know why this is the cover card and not the, the Tyranno. It's a little bit weird, but that's really cool, actually. That was actually not a bad mystery power box. If they would just cut the fist of the gadgets, it would be a pretty decent box. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content because it will be happening on this channel. And don't forget, if you guys are interested in editing the videos, make sure to check out the link down below. Shout out to TCG Trusted Card, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Bambi Gecko, Duelist King Cards, Spanky McFarland, G Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.